Hello plant people, Nora here, also known as the Lekker Queen on Instagram. Thank you so very much for joining me on my channel today. Here we talk about all things indoor plants from propagation, semi-hydroponics, making and using a moss pool among other things. Today I want to share with you how I'm going to turn my Syngonium mojito from a fairly thin plant to a more bushy plant. So I've got my mojita here. Just look at her, isn't she glorious? She's just beautiful. The speckles on that leaf are just to die for. When I got this plant, it was a one leaf cutting, believe it or not, and that wasn't very long ago. It was just um, a few months ago, less than six months ago. But look at what she looks like now. So I've had her growing on a moss pole just a simple cylindrical moss pole. It's quite small. It doesn't need to be very big for a syngonium. And you can check out how I make my moss poles from one of my earlier videos. So what I wanna to do today is propagate it. So I'm gonna chop up the top, whack that in some solution, get it rooting, and then put it right back down at the bottom there so that instead of having just two plants in there, I'll have three. Maybe I can have four. So we'll see how I go. I will show you how I identify where I make the cuts and um, how I get the roots going. So I've got two plants here. This one here and another one here. So this one is pretty small, that's that. This is the main plant. And you can see that that's coming all the way up. And this is the last place it's at. Now, unfortunately, because this is quite a recent uh, leaf, a recent stalk, uh, it hasn't yet rooted in the moss pole. If it had rooted in the moss pole, it'd actually be roots, because you can see here, these are roots that have actually come from the nodes, but I don't want to go that far down. I want to get my cutting from the biggest stem, which is this one over here. So I go up the stem and I look for the nodes. So I'm not just making a cut anyway, I want to cut below the nodes because that's where the roots will come from. So that there, right at that point where I've got my thumb, that's where the, that's where the node is. You can see the little bumps that are on there, right there. That's the note, and that's where I'm going to do my cut. I've got my pre-sterilized scissors over here. I'd normally use a blade for this, but you know, can't really find it in the move. So I sterilized a pair of scissors, and I am going to chop it there below the note. So just need to get these guys out of the way right there. So I'm going to make a diagonal cut there, right there. So that right there is my cutting. Can you see? That's the node. That's where the new roots are going to come from. And that is where I cut that off. So I've got my cutting here and what I'm going to do is get some GT Clonix. So that is a rooting hormone gel. I am going to put that all around the node like so. I'm not dipping this into my salute, into my hormone gel because you don't want to contaminate the whole bottle. So I've got my little brush. I normally like to use a little brush. I find that works really well. And just brush that gel along there. That there. I will then get a bottle plonk that in there and that's where that cutting will live. Okay, I've got my cutting in this bottle 
and I then get some Growth Technology Clonex Clone Solution. I've diluted some earlier, five mils per liter people, and I put generous amount in there, obviously going above the note. So that is what's going to feed the cutting and augment the work of the rooting gel. So they're working hand in hand and before you know it, this cutting is going to have roots coming out of the node. And once it's got those roots well established, I will then put it back into the main plant. I will then have a very, very bushy plant and it's going to look amazing. So just to recap on what we needed, I used Growth Technology Clonex Clone Solution. I've used Growth Technology Clonex, which is a rooting hormone gel. I used a brush to take the, the hormone gel out of that and basically painted my cutting and a blade to get your cutting off the main plant. And there we have it. Within a few weeks, I will have two plants and then I will have one plant. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time where I show you how I put this back into that. Thanks, bye.